In this video, we'll talk about gas stations and refueling your vehicle. That's coming right up. Hey, it's Shana from Zula Driving School and let's get right into it. So when you pull up into a gas station, you'll want to look over at your instrument cluster and locate the fuel gauge. There you'll see a picture of a fuel pump. Whichever side the fuel nozzle is located in that picture, is the side that your fuel door is located on. Alternatively, there may be an arrow pointing to the left or to the right, and the arrow is telling you the same thing. Once you've found an available pump on the correct side of your vehicle, pull up until you can see the pump from the left or the right rear window. If there are two available pumps in the same row, pull up to the frontmost pump in order to allow for another vehicle behind you to use the other pump. Now, engage the parking brake, put the vehicle into park and shut off your engine. Now some vehicles will have a fuel door release, much like a trunk release, so push or pull to open the fuel door. In some vehicles, the fuel door opens just with your hand or you press the door in with your finger and then it will pop open. Refer to your owner's manual if you're not sure. While you're looking through the owner's manual, it would also be a good time to see what grade of fuel your vehicle takes. Most gas vehicles will operate on the 87 octane, but some sport and luxury vehicles will require the higher octane fuel. If your vehicle is not calling for the higher octane fuel, don't opt for it as you're just wasting money and you'll not see any added benefits. However, if your owner's manual specifically calls for a certain octane grade, don't go for a lower grade as it can damage your engine in the long run. Now, undo the fuel cap and place the cap either in the cap holder, usually located in the inside portion of the fuel door or on top of your trunk or hood. Wherever you put it, make sure you remember to put the cap back on before leaving. Moving on, most gas stations now require you to prepay for your fuel before filling up. You should be able to pay at the pump by placing your bank card into the machine and following the instructions. If you're having trouble, you can go inside and pay the attendant directly. Once the payment or pre-authorization has taken place, the machine will ask you to lift the nozzle and select the grade of fuel you want. Now, some pumps will have two nozzles. One is for diesel while the other one is for gasoline. Be careful which one you select. If you're not sure, ask the pump attendant. Place the nozzle into the fuel receptacle of your vehicle and press the trigger on the handle. If you're filling your vehicle up to the top, the trigger will disengage when the tank is full. You will hear a click, don't try to put more fuel after that. Place the nozzle back, select the receipt option on the pump if you require one, secure your fuel cap and when you turn it you will hear one click. Once you hear that one click you know that it's secure and close the fuel door. And now you're all done. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, feel free to comment, like, or subscribe to our channel on YouTube. In addition, we offer an online video training course on our website at www.zula.ca. In that course, we show you actual footage of us going to a gas station and putting fuel in our vehicle. So be sure to check that out. Now it's one thing for me to stand here and talk to you about putting fuel in your vehicle. It's another for you to get out there with your co-ed driver or your driving instructor and practice fueling up your vehicle for yourself. I hope to see you in another video soon.